Hi guys and welcome to this week's video which is all about sex and by that what I'm going to talk about is quite simply sex before transition and sex now and what I thought it was going to be like, things that I was worried about and things that I've learned from my experiences. I'm not trying to tell people to do one thing or not do something, I'm purely going to tell you what I found as a trans woman through my own transition. So um, if you don't agree with what I'm saying, we don't like it, that's absolutely fine. I'm just trying to do something that I think, you know, is interesting to talk about and I hope maybe some people will, you know, find interesting, okay? All right, good. I think for any trans person going into transition, um, sex is gonna be something that you worry about. It's quite a scary thing because I didn't know what sex was going to be like. I don't know, you know, there's all kinds of risks about, you know, losing sensation. Every time you have surgery, there's risks. I know for me, I had quite an active sex life prior to transition. And, um, you know, sex for me was a known quantity, um, despite my kind of dysphoria that I've always obviously carried with me. Um, I, I enjoyed sex and, um, I, I, you know, I didn't know, I didn't know what it's going to be like. And when I think you are faced with um, losing that and changing it, and I did worry, I did think, God, you know, imagine what is it going to be like if I just can't ever, you know, if I lose sensation or if I just find that actually uh, climaxing before was just way more intense and how am I going to live with that? You know, it's an important part of a relationship for me. I'm someone who enjoys intimacy and it's, you know, it's, it's, it is a critical thing for me to, to have that. So it was something that I definitely worried about. The first few times I made love um, to a guy, it was really, it was really strange. I was really nervous and it's a bit like driving a left-hand drive car because you've driven a car thousands and thousands of times and you know how it works and you've done this and you're just like, well, okay, I'm female now, but I know how, yeah, okay. Although you know everything, everything feels a bit weird and everything's in different places and all the controls are a bit different and you're not really quite sure of what you're doing at times. You know how it works, but actually it's kind of different and it takes a bit of learning and practice and getting used to. When you have sex as a guy, you pretty much know that you're going to climax and that's like cool you know that's great cis girls will probably all be like yeah this is part of being a woman but as a woman like you don't always you know it, it's it's quite i find it's quite difficult to to reach that kind of point it's not to say that i can't but i've been with a lot of people and i've not climaxed and it's like sure the whole intimacy and being with somebody and having that experience is nice but it's very strange to suddenly make love to somebody and and not climax basically and and to actually just start to almost get used to that and thinking well is this what all sex is ever going to be now you know it's nice but it's kind of a bit shit in a way um and i know <laughs> i think an element of that is also down to you because you've got to figure out your body and the way things what works and what doesn't and what does feel good and and that is actually quite hard um you know i think discovering your body on your own is is interesting and um trying to 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 have that experience with somebody else can be really difficult, it can be quite challenging. I know whenever you have sex, you know, your headspace is quite an important thing. Um, my therapist always used to say that like, you know, when you're having sex, it's like two people, there's the you that's actually present in the moment and there's what's going on in your head. And I think that's very, that is very true. It's taken me quite a long time to to feel comfortable with my body and how it works and, and how it all feels and what feels good and, uh, and it's 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 a bit like a puzzle but I don't want to paint a bleak picture at the same time because I have found that I mean 
climaxing as a woman now is like every bit as good as a guy and I'm not really going to describe this in much detail it can be every bit as intense and for me it's it's amazing still you know and it's kind of different but it's good it's really good actually it can be awesome <laughs> and again I think that can depend on who you're with and the way they respond to your body like learning the way your body works isn't obvious um and it's really strange when you think I know my body I know how my body works I know what feels nice and suddenly you do all these things you go through this process and you're a complete learner you're having to learn your body all over again and you're having to get your head around what feels good and what doesn't and then trying to communicate this to a partner can be quite difficult because you don't want to make them feel like they're just they totally suck in bed and you know you want to be spontaneous and like sexy and kind of all these things and you know you want that in I want that in my sex life I don't want to be sort of like you know trying to engineer everything that's happening um but it's yeah it's complicated um and it does take practice I've not had a crazy sex life but I've had you know I, I, I've, I've had quite 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 a few intimate moments and it's probably taken me a year to um and I'm still learning so many things and you know it's fun but it's taken me time and it's gonna take more time and that time is gonna be a lot of fun it's not something that just happens like that you have to work at it and you have to work on finding out what works for you I hope you guys have enjoyed that it's quite a delicate video to try and make I'm sure you'll all agree um, if you want to know more please just put your comments in the box ask me questions and I will answer them um, some of them maybe maybe some of them not <laughs> I hope we'll see you guys all next Wednesday at 8 o'clock. So catch you then. Bye. Oh God, I really don't know what to say here. It's hard to, to enjoy sometimes. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know.